Well, they're, they're, they're all here. They're all working hard. Um, I think, you know, to begin with in, in spring, when you're, when you're coming into a new system, new coaches, you know, I'm just evaluating, assessing, trying to help these guys learn a whole new different toolbox than they're accustomed to. Um, I think they're exceptional hard workers. And that's, that's great. You know, that's a good start for us. But then how it plays out, I think we'll wait. I'll kind of be a little bit more reserved on my judgment until we get into training camp and we get a chance to see them in the preseason when the live bolts start flying. But right now, it's all positive. The guys are working hard. They're learning some new sets, different angles, different strikes, things of that nature you know, that can help their game. We're so overwhelmed that he, that, that he got the job. It's just, God, it's just it's beyond anything that I ever imagined for him. You know, I just remember times you know, when he was, you know, a teenager, you know, going to training camp with us when I was with the Raiders, you know, he'd stay for weeks with us and he'd be thrown with Jerry Rice, he'll be out there with Rich Gannon, you know, and I had never thought that this would come to this juncture where he's at right now. But yeah, I'm incredibly proud of what he's done. Of course, all my children, I'm proud of them. But, you know, the steps that he's taken to do it on his own, you know, it was his own path, his own journey. So, uh, yeah, it was, it was earned, you know, and he, uh, he was completely dedicated to and driven to do this. So, uh, so, so proud of him and so excited for him as well. How would similar or how different Nick would have been um, coaching style wise and how, how is it good and how is it maybe not good? Similarly, um, no, he's his own person. I'm, and I'm my own person for, for these years. Uh, what's, what's interesting is that, you know, he's, he knows what I'm like because of all the shared experiences. When you go back in time and you think about how we've communicated through wins and losses just, you know, as a son and a dad, you know, and all those experiences that he had in high school and in college and all the years of pro football, you know, talking to him on the phone, seeing him when we get together each summer. Uh, it's, I think it's, it's seamless. You know, the transition has been for me when I walked in here, it was very natural and it was very comfortable. So uh, I, I think, yeah, it's real positive in that regard. What'd you Coach see in Sadiq Charles? Charles with Coach. In, years, in years to come, I think Brian's put together an exceptional staff. You know, you look at Denard and you look at some of the, some of the coaches on the staff that have come up through the ranks from being QCs to where they're currently at now. It's, a, it's an exceptionally smart, bright, you know, intellectually driven staff, which is fun. So the room is great, you know, it keeps me young. You know, so when I'm in there, the, those guys, they're always bouncing ideas off or sharing stories of their experiences. So that's been positive. But uh, going back to Nick, I, I think he's uh, going to be a star in this league. I think there's the, 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 the future is really bright for him. And for him and Brian to be back together again, it, that's another unique situation. You know, they both played together in high school, you know, and they followed each other in college and kept their friendship alive for all these years. So this speaks to both their characters. Bill how similar. How you guys have to talk about things, work things out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, that was really interesting because, uh, you know, a year ago he was interviewing around the league, and I, I didn't think I was going to do that. I was going to go with him at the time. And, you know, we had long discussions about that. But this year was a little bit different when he got the job. You know, I just felt compelled to help him. Uh, I felt that uh, at this juncture in my career, you know, God willing, how many years I got left. But, you know, I just wanted to really help him. I wanted to you know, help the Titans, help him succeed. And uh, it really was kind of a no-brainer in that regard. So it's family, and I want to see him succeed just like uh, any parent wants to see their children succeed. So uh, it's rare. It's unique. And so, yeah, I'm, I'm fired up about it. Okay. What you was know, it about to that line, but, but for Will Levis as well? Yeah, it's, it's great to have Lloyd here. Uh, the thing that strikes me about Lloyd is, you know, he, he's a guy who could have gone anywhere, you know, and uh, of course, uh, I'm happy that he got paid, you know, and deservingly so, but he wanted to be with a team that can improve his game and he wants to be great. And, you know, that really struck me that the game goes deeper than the wallet for him, you know, and he has a tremendous passion, curiosity, uh, and, and intellect that, that goes beyond anything. So he's great for our room, super for the team in terms of running the show up front. And he has a dynamic presence about him, you know, that'll, you know, obviously help all the younger players come along in time. What was it about? Yeah, I think I think first off, you know, the, the physicality is, is non negotiable. And I think that's already in their DNA here. I've always felt that uh, when I oops, excuse me, somebody's camera yeah. dropped. Okay. Or your microphone. I think that uh, the physicality uh, of, of, the, of their play is always important. And that's kind of 
in the DNA, like I mentioned, you know. Uh, so that part of playing hard, playing with tempo, being physical uh, has always been there, you know, for these kids. It's just a matter of tweaking techniques, giving them a couple different tools in terms of schemes, hands, things of that nature, just to try to build them up, build them a different toolbox. What do you see from Lloyd Cushenberry and how beneficial he is? The biggest challenges and, and kind of what makes you think JC is a good guy in terms of being able to Yeah, I think, you know, number one, his athleticism. And then, of course, you know, all the measurable traits that he has. And then you add in size, power, you know, strength. Uh, and it adds up, you know, to making that move. Very similar uh, in my experience at Dallas when I had Tyron Smith when I came into the Cowboys. He was a right tackle in college. He was a right tackle his rookie year, and we flipped him over. And uh, I think that worked out pretty well. And then Jedrick Wills, uh, when he was drafted out of Alabama for the Browns, was a right tackle in college. We flipped him. Um, another guy in my past was Barry Sims from the Raiders. You know, he was a, a tackle out of Utah who we found in the World League at that time, which no longer exists, but he ended up making that switch to left tackle as well. So I think if you have the athleticism, you know, and you have strength, I think, and you have the muscle memory to, you know, change some skill sets, I, I think that's, it's, it's doable. You have any doubts about his ability to do it? I don't. What do you see in the right? I guess just yeah, right just out like of the gate, Joe, what's it like being here like and how things going right, right out of the gate? Yeah, it's, it's, it's been, it's been a lot of fun. You know, the transition to Nashville and to the Titans is a, it's interesting, you know, this is a team that uh, I felt I know pretty well, you know, in my history. Uh, it's great to be here with Brian, my son, and uh, this staff that Brian's put together. It's exciting, it's an exciting time. So, uh, yeah, everything's been very positive so far. We haven't played a game yet, so we're undefeated. <laughs> we heard a lot of fun, you know, the transition to Nashville and to the Titans. And, uh, it's interesting, you know, this is a team that uh, I felt I know pretty well, you know, in my history. Exciting time, so yeah, everything's been very positive so far. We haven't played a game yet, so we're undefeated. And we I was going to go with them at the time, and you know, we had long discussions about that. But this year was a little bit different when he got the job. You know, I just felt compelled to help him. Uh, I felt that uh, at this juncture in my career, you know, God willing, how many years I got left, but you know, I just wanted to really help him. I wanted to uh, help the Titans, help him succeed. And uh, it really was kind of a no-brainer in that regard. So it's family, and I want to see him succeed just like uh, any parent wants to see their children succeed. So uh, it's rare, it's unique, and so yeah, I'm, I'm fired up about it.